Hi guys, it's Aurelius Chin, and in this video, I just I'm just going to review and give you my honest opinion about Optin Monster and my first impressions because I just started using it, and I'll share the steps on how you can get started with Optin Monster and start putting your first opt-in form on your website. So first of all, what is Opt Optin Monster? Well, Optin Monster allows you to easily create opt-in forms for your website, whether it's a WordPress website or any HTML website. It also allows you, it's got new features such as exit intent, which means that the opt-in form will appear when your visitor sort of hovers over that exit button or close button where the browser is. And they have other features like a, a welcome page where once a visitor arrives to your website, uh, it will first show that main uh, page with an opt-in offer. They have other things, and if you look at the features, you can you can see quite a few things that Optin Monster can do. So we've talked about exit intent sort of thing. So it's uh, abandoning visitors. Uh, you can also segment. You can also uh, use timed pop-ups so that you can get your pop-up to appear after something like 10 seconds or a minute. It's up to you. You can do some split tests between different opt-in forms to see which one converts better. There's some reporting tools. Uh, they've got a thing called Monster Links, which uh, in my opinion, it's basically the same as lead links uh, by lead pages. Uh, speaking of lead pages, it is quite uh, similar in that it is an opt-in form builder. Uh, though the pricing is quite similar, I think opt-in monster is a little bit more if you go on their pro plan uh, versus lead pages standard plan uh, but in my opinion i think you get more bang for your buck using opt-in monster because it's got other things that lead pages doesn't have things like at the moment i don't think lead pages is able to create floating bars so you can put an opt-in form at the bottom of your page so that visitors can see that wherever uh, they visit your site and so let's move on. So I've discussed the features. There's uh, let's uh, log in, and you can see a couple of my uh, campaigns that I've just created and implemented. So I signed up for the pro version. With the pro version, you get more features, uh, features that I uh, was interested in. So going back, let me just go through the pricing with you. At the time of this recording, if you go on the annual plan, it's twenty five percent off. Obviously, if you buy in bulk, it's usually cheaper. So I went uh, went ahead with this $29 a month plan, but at the moment, it's got this uh, save 10% off, uh, off, off opt-in monster at the moment. Uh, but uh, depending on when you watch this, it might not be there anymore. But nonetheless, if you want to save, go on the annual plan. Otherwise, if you just want to give it a try, see how you go, go on the monthly plan. Uh, but it came down to about 315 all up but it's got things like uh, that all these other plans doesn't have the basic and the plus is the unlimited sites so I can use uh, opt-in opt monster on unlimited sites with these ones you can have on three and one here you can do things like full screen takeovers that's kind of like a welcome uh, screen page uh, campaign scheduling and other things uh, you can see a full list uh, if you go to see all features now right, let's go back and log in and I'll just give you a quick uh, rundown as to how to basically implement a opt-in form so let's say you want to create a home page uh, opt-in form I'll show you how it looks like first so I implement it at unstoppableplr.com. If you want to see a real life example, go to unstoppableplr.com. You'll see it once, and usually you won't see it again because uh, otherwise it would be annoying. That's why um, usually it pops up again. I think after uh, after a month or something, you can set how often you want the opt-in to appear. But let me um, clear my history so that I can now clear my cookies and the opt-in form should appear. So I've got it set to show after eight seconds of the visitor's arrival. 
and so we're going to wait a few seconds until it appears. All right, I think I'm going to have to clear my history further back because I only did it for the last hour, but let's put it to today, clear it, and that's actually the opt-in form, but um, let me show you how it appears. Not sure why it just popped up. I think it's the browser probably auto refreshed. Let's see if it pops up now, but since it popped up just by accident before, uh, here we go. So here it is, here's my offer. I've got this free report and you can set this to have either an opt-in form that shows and appears straight away or you can have this yes or no option. It's just a matter of clicking that one option, but um, if I click on download the PDF, it will show now the opt-in form. The visitor just enters their email clicks get instant access and then downloads the free guide uh, when they get their access link via email or they can click no thanks and that will close it uh, also I've got this appearing after something like 30 seconds I think uh, the footer this is a footer option so it's the same offer basically free report three ways to perform PLR products they enter their email clicks download and then it just says uh, thanks for subscribing that's all it is. So those are the two opt-in forms that I've created. Uh, so the footer and the homepage. Let's first take a look at the homepage and click on edit. When you're creating your opt-in form, you'll have this exact same interface, but you simply select a theme. So I can select a theme here. Uh, theme is the, this option that I cho chose. So it's a gourmet, some sort of uh, food industry opt-in form but I modified it so to suit my needs all I did was I to upload this e-cover I just clicked on uh, modify and then you get this drag and drop drop editor just simply drag your e-cover or whatever it is whatever image it may be it could be a logo I've got my free report guide cover here so I've uploaded it select it and then it should uh, upload right here and next you can do things like uh, it's basically you drag uh, what you see is what you get really you click it and you can change whatever so if you want to change this to free guide you can do so right there there's no coding involved also this subtitle here you can change it same way uh, this here that's just the name of the product I'm still going to test whether this is going to convert or not so I've only literally put this on the about two hours ago so we haven't done any testing or haven't got any opt-ins yet to even determine what type of uh, opt-in form converts better than the other and then you can do things like change the color of the button so clicking this once I get this panel so submit background color you can select it from here and then the border color the font style and then you can change a message of the no thanks message so I've got it simply as no thanks but you can change it to no thanks I'll skip or something you can do that and as you can see changes take effect right away but let's change that back because this is a, a live version of my opt-in form uh, so your control panel everything towards uh, that uh, that's to be involved uh, that's involved with the visual part of the opt-in form you go to the opt-in form section the setup is here so give it a title give it uh, put the website URL and the cookie duration so cookie basically means how often uh, basically the system will remember or your browser or their browser will remember when the last time uh, they visited the site so I'm saying uh, 30 day duration so after 30 days uh, they will see this opt-in form again but uh, they won't see it within that period uh, so that stops them from uh, you know getting annoyed if that pops up every single time they visit my website and then a success cookie duration but that's all default so leave it as 365 days uh, let's go to yes or no so this is the option where that you see right here this is a yes and no option I'm not sure if I am going to permanently use this but I'll be testing it because it is it might convert better who knows but if you want to disable it you can do so and that will just use the opt-in form but I'm liking the yes or no option for now 
so I'll leave that and you can change the wording so mine's download the PDF and no thanks and you can change the colors obviously now for the success message you can use uh, success action so you can get them to display a success message which is here and you can edit this message too uh, this way they're staying on the same page and if they want to close it there's a close button here that's the one I'm using now or you can redirect the subscriber to a new page so if you have a page that says oh thanks for subscribing here's the download link you can do so and put in the URL so if I click that it's gonna ask for redirect URL but I like to keep things simple and just use this uh, thanks for subscribing message so that's that panel now display rules this is where you can set the rules of how the opt-in uh, form will appear you can do it by after X number of seconds so I'll put in 8 so once they've arrived the system waits 8 seconds until that pop-up appears you can also choose on exit intent so this means that when they sort of hover close to or over that close button on their browser you can uh, that pop-up will appear so that sort of tries to um, attempts to recapture that visitor uh, to become a subscriber before they exit for good who knows when your subscriber will or your visitor will come back or not you can do other things uh, you can trigger it by after scrolling down uh, like 50% of the page so it's quite advanced I haven't seen this yet but if you really want to go more in depth then you can do so using these filters and rules and who should see the campaign so visitors are browsing a specific page or you can get them get that opt-in form to appear on every single page it's up to you you can have it appear on just your uh, opt-in page or you can get them to appear on a certain product of yours it's up to you you can set it all here and you can select from make it appear on specific devices such as uh, a phone only or a tablet or just a desktop things like that so that's what display rules are now integrations you can integrate it with uh, major autoresponders uh, auto services so let's go here and you can see email providers active campaign Aweber constant contact convert kit pretty much all the ones that you've heard of it's all here all the reputable ones at least so Entreport it's all there I'm gonna delete that I'll just leave it I probably won't save any of these settings anyway and here are the analytics if you want to put in uh, Google Analytics so just put in the authorization token and I'll be, do I'll be doing that just so I can track my visitors and things like that so that's how you customize the opt-in form you can then save it and then hit that embed button and then it's going to ask uh, where do you want to embed it site-wide embed code so if you don't have a WordPress site you can just copy this and then uh, it tells you to copy and paste it before the closing body tag and uh, if you have no idea what this is I can get, recommend you that you go to hire, hire someone from somewhere like upwork.com pay someone maybe five to ten dollars to implement this code for you on your pages and that's all there is to it but um, most people have WordPress sites so that's the option that I took so download the WordPress plugin and then it gives you an instructions on how to set it up so let's head to WordPress so I've uploaded it uh, through plugins and then add new upload it and then activate it and all you need to do is enter your API credentials first uh, so that you can authenticate your account with opt-in monster uh, to get the username and key you just simply go let's exit this now simply go API which is right here and now you can see the username and API key but I've blurred this out uh, because you'll have your own unique one and you enter it here so username key all done once that's done you'll head back to opt-ins and then give this a refresh so that it can it can load all the opt-in forms that you've created uh, if you don't see it as live that's because that's because here let's click on this 
we're going to hit that uh, resume resume campaign, but mine is already live, so now it's showing pause, but in your case, it'll probably be called resume campaign. That's what you want. And then once you've done that, hit refresh again, and it should show live. And then once you've done that, you just click on edit output settings. And uh, there's one extra box that you need to do to enable uh, that opt-in form. Click that, save it, and then your opt-in form will appear uh, in front of all your visitors. And the way I'm testing it really is just opening up my page or home page and uh, it should appear the first time. If, and if you want to test it again, simply clear your history, whichever browser you're using. I'm using Safari here as a secondary uh, browser. Uh, my main, main browser is Google Chrome, so I've got two browsers open. That's how I'm testing it. But that's how simple and easy it is to use uh, opt-in form. Uh, to be honest, this is probably one of the easiest tools I've used to create opt-in forms and pages. Uh, you know, it's only been the first day, so I'm going to see how well this works uh, in terms of actual uh, usage for as a user. I'm finding it really easy. Um, but um, let's see, time will tell how great this tool is, but from what I've seen, Optin Monster have gone uh, quite far since the beginning. They only just started as exit pop-ups and pop-ups, uh, pop-ups actually to begin with, and then they moved on to things like exit pop-ups and uh, floating bars, slide-ins and welcome pages, things like that. So in terms of features, I love it. I'm loving it right now. Integrates with major services. No complaints right now. I'm um, just hoping, obviously, the my investment towards uh, the opt-in monster will, uh, you know, I'll get back ten tenfold easily <laughs> once you've built a list. So give this a try. I mean, you don't have to go for the yearly plan, but start off with just that one website option, which is something like nine dollars a month if you go on the yearly plan. Uh, otherwise, the monthly is nineteen dollars a month. Give it a try if you like it. Uh, it's probably, I know there's a price, monthly price to it, but if it's going to make life easier, if it's going to help you build your list a lot faster, then that's just an investment. It's a no-brainer, really. Otherwise, you're leaving money on the table by not building your email list. If you have any questions, specific questions about Optin Monster and uh, anything technical as well about setting it up, uh, do let me know. Here to help. Thanks a lot for watching this video.